The Ukraine war either turned the S-400 into a legend or exposed it as overhyped. But how did the Indian Air Force turn it into a game changer? In Ukraine, the Russian S-400 has seen both claimed successes and visible failures, raising global questions about this air defense system. But India is using those very war lessons to shape a doctrine that stops enemy aircraft at long range before they even reach our airspace. The Indian Air Force uses the S-400 as the top layer of a layered air defense shield, with indigenous systems like Akash and MR SAM forming the lower layers. In recent large-scale exercises, this lead shield was tested, where S-400 batteries shot down, simulated enemy jets and drones at long range, restoring confidence in the system. The Ukraine war showed that if you deploy S-400 in isolation, with poor coordination, even advanced systems become vulnerable. That is why India focuses on an integrated network, better radar fusion, shoot and scoot tactics, and deployments hardened against electronic warfare. The real strategic debate is this, should India depend on imports like the Russian S-400 or build self-reliance with systems like Akashinji, Project Kusha and future indigenous long-range SAMs? On one side is deterrence through a massive long-range kill zone. On the other is Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense. What do you think India's future air defense should rely on more, imports or indigenous systems? Tell in the comments.